One of the most saddest experiences as a member of parliament is when you've had a loved one come and see you and say their loved one has taken their life or their life has been taken away and they want you to do everything you can that it doesn't happen to somebody else. Raymond Chisty is trying to change the law. The Member of Parliament for Gillingham and Raynham has introduced what's called a private member's bill. This is when an individual MP suggests changes to the law that aren't already part of the government's plans. Now, only a minority of these bills actually end up becoming law, but they do create publicity for an issue and can often influence other legislation. So what exactly is Mr Chisty calling for? Whenever you have a uh, commissioning of physical health or any service by the uh, commissioning group, they have to then uh, consider the mental health aspect of, uh, of care they provide. Because often what you find is somebody who has, uh, say, diabetes linked to that, a side effect would be you know, a mental health issue as well. So there's no point to simply getting somebody the treatment they have for diabetes if they haven't looked at the mental health aspect because often you need a holistic approach in relation to the care that somebody gets. The bill has got the backing of the Royal College of Psychiatrists, the Centre for Mental Health and a cross-party group of 67 MPs who recently wrote to the Prime Minister in support of the bill. But there are some concerned voices in the medical profession. I'm Dr Julian Spinks, I'm a GP in Stroud and Chairman of Kent Local Medical Committee. The difficulty is, often these ideas are pushed through the commissioners and down to the people providing services um, in the form of tick boxes or extra forms to fill in to prove you've done the work. As a GP with a very short 10 minute consultation, I have very limited time, that extra administration actually can end up eating into the time I have to provide care for patients. Raymond Chisty, the Member of Parliament for Gillingham and Raynham. After we spoke about your Health Services Commissioning Bill, I, I put that to a couple of people working within the medical profession and, yeah. and, and they raised a couple of concerns. I just want to play you a clip. This is Nick okay. Fairweather. He's a Kent solicitor specialising in medical cases. It's very easy for politicians to look at, at ideal scenarios, you know, to say things like anyone that's got any kind of a mental health problem must get this, and that's great. I support that all day long. But the problem is that there's a finite level and amount of provision, and that's being slashed and cut back hugely for people who are profoundly and acutely unwell and need admission to hospital and can't get it. So anything that diverts away from that already creaking, broken, whatever you want to call it, system, could end up being at best a waste of time and a diversion and at worst it could actually end up diverting resources away from those key frontline services that I tragically so often see aren't operating properly at the moment. Look, I'm saying there should be that huge frontline service available for mental health issues. This is in addition uh, to those uh, other mental health services available. Clearly, what's been going on in the past is not right, and we need a new approach to ensure that, yes, at the front line, people who need acute services get that, but also those who have um, you know, other mental health needs that they are considered...